So in this video, we are going to see how we can set up AWS budget. So what is AWS budget? So AWS budget, I would say, is kind of the billing alert. You can set up to track your AWS cost and then based on that alert, you can take a required action. So how we can set AWS budget? So AWS has simplified this method. So they have provided a template. So there are two ways to set up your budget. First, you can use a inbuilt template which is a simplified method in AWS and second is advanced method you customize using budget so in this video we are going to create a budget using both the way okay so I'll go to my AWS console and I'll create a two budget alerts and we'll see if that works fine or not okay. let me go to the AWS console now so I am in my AWS console now so you have to go to billing and cost management so I'll simply type billing and cost management okay and here you can go to the budget in your left pin so let me scroll down okay so here you can go to the budgets so let me go to the budgets here so this will be page for you if you have not created any kind of budget as of now so I'll simply click on create budget and now if you are learning AWS you are using the free tier I would suggest you to create budget for a zero spend budget so what is this a create budget that notifies you once you are spending exit 0.01 dollar which is above AWS free tier limit so this is very useful if you are using AWS free tier you are just learning AWS you are practicing stuff on AWS so I always prefer to have this alert whenever I am using a free tier so I, as I said there are two methods to create AWS budget first simplified method using template so these are the templates I will use this zero budget template second is customized so I will create alert with both the way so first I will create with template and I will create one zero spend budget so as soon as my cost will go beyond 0.01 dollar it will send me an alert where it will send that we can configure so name I will just keep the default my zero spend budget okay email address so specify the email recipients you want to notify so separate email address using common so I'll keep only one email address for now so just use my email address okay all AWS services are in scope for this project you will be notified via email when any spend above 0.01 dollar is incurred okay now let me just create a budget so now it is already showing C date because if I go to home and I'll see my current billing so it is beyond 0 0.01 dollar so it's already showing as a C date okay you can see it's already 0 0.06 that is why it is already showing as a C date okay so it is showing C -date. Now in this case I should receive an alert so let me check an email if I received an alert. You can see I received alert. So it is showing dear customer. This is your budget exceed 0 0.01 and your actual cost is 0 0.06. Now once you got this alert you can understand okay something is charging you and you can go in or explorer you can see which resources are costing you and you can take a required action so you can just check the resources you can terminate that resources it might be EC2 instance it might be any of your services you will see the services here okay so that I'm not going to explain in detail but yeah in cost explorer you will see which services is costing you more okay now this is the first kind of alert using template you have set up the budget now I'll go and set up the advanced budget so now I don't want to use any kind of inbuilt template so I'll go to create budget and I will use a customized okay so I will choose a cost budget I don't want a usage budget okay next set up your budget so budget name I'll just I want to create a budget when my spend go beyond or uh, I would say five uh, for now I will keep as a one dollar okay so I'll just do one dollar so I'll give the name as a one dollar 
budget so as soon as i one cross one dollar it should alert so period i will choose daily budget do not support enabling i will choose monthly okay start month definitely i will choose november budgeting method fixed and interior budget amount so just choose one so as soon as it crosses one dollar it will figure in so all aws services i will choose aggregated cost by i'll choose as it is so it should consider all the charges and i will select it as including credit as well it should consider because i am having credit so it will not throw me alert if i am not selecting the credit but ideally it should not select the credit but i just want to see if it throw an alert so i want to create it with the credit and i'll click next so how it works it order to notify it on the state of your budget you can create up to five different alerts so this is how it is working and you have to add three shot but currently i'm not adding three shot alert so one next so no alert only i have set up the budget i have not set the alert let me go edit and alert so when i should create an alert if it crosses i would say when it crosses uh, 80% it should send an alert okay so when your actual cost is greater than 80% that is 0.80 of your budgeted amount the alert they should will be email recipient so you can send it to sms alert you can send it to chatbot you can send it to different ways i'll just click next next i'll just click create budget so this is created now currently it is showing okay because my amount is below 1 dollar or below 80% that is 0.80 Now once I receive an alert, I'll just try to show you. Okay, so that's it for this video. We have created two types of budget. One is using a template, and one is a customized. So hope you understood now how we can create the budgets in AWS billing and cost. As you can see, both of my budgets are exceeded now. So my zero spend budget that already exceeded. I am recording this video two days now, and. my another budget which we created that is $1 budget that is also exceeded because my current cost you can see is around $1.22 so let's see if has sent me an alert so you can see here i got an alert so you can see what it is saying your $1 budget has exceeded your alert threshold so based on that it sent an alert as well so hope now you understood how we can set up the budgets and alert to manage our cost and avoid any unexpected charges So that's it for this video and we'll see you again in a next video